This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So it's actually over four years now that I've had this boy and this is the number one guitar that I own, the the best money that I've ever spent on a piece of gear, as well as being a, a true bargain. So this is the K-Line Springfield. Obviously, if you're familiar with the channel, you've seen me play this before, probably quite a lot. Uh, I got it in September of 2018 and here was the, the first thing I played on it. Now, at the time, I was sort of tempted by a bit of sort of Fender Custom Shop gas, but I didn't want to spend Fender Custom Shop money. And on the Fretboard Forum, which is a guitar forum in the UK, uh, this was posted for sale near to me. And I think it was up for about £900, £850 or something like that. And I looked at it at first and the headstock put me off, as I'm sure for some of you because it's not a Fender headstock, it probably doesn't look exactly right. Um, and I kind of didn't love the sort of vintage tint on the neck. Um, aside from that, I thought maybe the blue's not for me either. But I came back to it. I think I gave the guy an offer and said, you know, would you take 850 for it or something like that. And initially he said no. And then he came back about a week or so later and said, yeah, actually, it's still here. You can have it for that if you want. Now, I did a little bit of research at the time and I saw on a few forums, you know, that people were quite high on K-Line um, and, you know, said these are, you know, sort of similar to a Danacaster or, you know, a Nash guitar or these sorts of things, you know, uh, small boutique builders who are making great guitars. Now, at the time, I, I think it was pretty much instant I started to think actually yeah this is sort of the guitar for me uh, when I first got it this checking wasn't actually like this it was I think fairly clean when I first got it but over time this nitro has really kind of checked all over um, in terms of specs it's a K-Line Springfield so it's basically more or less spec like a Strat except for the neck pocket angle is slightly different to so you don't have to shim it effectively 
the radius would be a bit more than uh, your standard custom shop strat as well these are 10 inch um, so a little bit flatter and not sort of vintage radius uh, 6150 frets um, bone nut obviously and you know uh, medium C and Wilkinson hardware and this one has Lola Dirty Blondes in it, which I think ended up for me being sort of my favourite um, pickups. And I think that's about all there is to it. This one has a really nice weight, which has a lot of sevens in it, about seven pounds, seven ounces, which for me is about perfect for a Strat. Um, you know, you don't necessarily want to end up with something super heavy. I think with, with a Strat, it's kind of nice to have something a little bit on the lighter side. Um, I'll show you some close-ups of it, but I'm really, really glad that I made this purchase. It's seen off uh, an actual Fender Custom Shop. I had that red um, Relic um, Fender Custom Shop. I think it was a 63. Um, but I felt like this was more my guitar than that was. Um, it doesn't have a Fender on the headstock, but that's not a problem to me. I think Chris at K-Line builds fantastic strats. And if you know the channel, you also know that I bought a bunch more as a result of having a great result and a great experience with this. And I think there are a few of my friends that may have played it. Uh, so David Beebe, Jake Loosemore, these chaps that have played them, I think they'll, you know, let you know that these are not crap guitars. Um, Alder Body, by the way, as well. Super happy that I, I did make that kind of leap. And it's kind of insane now to think that I got this for the price of a PRS Silver Sky SE. Uh, I don't think that's the sort of bargain that you come across super often and I don't anticipate being able to buy a K-Line Strat for less than £900 ever again so, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I did that. I think um, the most kind of famous K-Line user would be John Schofield who actually used one for a bit. Uh, I think it was only for a small amount of time because he's obviously an Ibanez artist um, so would be issues if he continued to play that. This was set up by Monty's uh, recently because I obviously worn the frets out because I put so many uh, hours into it. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful guitar, I think. One that I will never sell uh, unless for some reason I end up super poor. Um, it's quite stable. I've not had to make any adjustments on it um, except for I think one winter I had to make an adjustment. But on some of my other guitars, like the Seafoam Green, I had to adjust that neck this year, and also also on the white K-Line. Um, so this one, more stable than both of those, and hasn't needed any adjustment. Sounds great, and I didn't play it for three weeks, just specifically because I wanted to come at it fresh again, and, you know, see, is this really as good as I remember? And, yeah, it definitely is. It's just a fantastic guitar. Um, I'd love to know if you've got a number one guitar in the comments. Uh, obviously, it's boxing day today. So if you're watching this, I hope you're having a good few days. And um, yeah, I'd love to know if there's a number one for you. And how do you know that it's your number one? Um, just for me, it's very obvious when I, I put this away for three weeks, I pick it back up and it's like, ah, yeah, that's what I was um, looking for. It's just fantastic. And really, I feel quite lucky to have that sort of thing because... I know some people end up chasing certain things and I sort of know that for me, my Strat journey could end with this today and I wouldn't really ever regret it if that makes sense. So yeah, um, my number one Strat, the K-Line. Ice Blue is the finish and it's starting to age quite nicely. Um, I don't gig this one live anymore because I'd be worried that something might happen to it, but it is a really fantastic guitar. I hope you like the sound of it when I play it I don't know is there a favorite guitar of mine that I play or that you see me play I'd like to know your thoughts on that as well here's some more playing uh, if you want that preset that's Eric Lee 35 um, just a fantastic guitar there's obviously loads more videos of me playing on the channel if you want to check those out cheers